Well, hello and welcome back to my garden in Queensland, Australia. I've actually been away for a few weeks and I've come back. Once again, it's been raining. We've had more rain here. I say to my partner, my goodness, one day I'm going to look out and the ark will be floating past. However, what's happened is some plants have really embraced the water and some of them not so much. So what's embraced the rain in my garden and all the moisture? Well, tucked in behind here, you can see these beautiful, stately flowers here. See, these are the flowers. These are an Australian native. They're called a kangaroo paw. And when you actually look at the flower at the base, that looks like the paw of a kangaroo. So hence the name kangaroo paws. They usually grow to two meters with their flowers. As you can see, this one's at least two meters. They grow beautifully in this climate. And I've got to be honest, I always thought they grew without water better. And you know, they do grow without water. But by crikey, you put some intense rain on and look at them. They are now spectacular. So that's a kangaroo paw doing beautifully in my garden. We actually built a little walk through here a few years back and I wasn't sure what to put over the top. I put a few different things in, but it wasn't until I found this. Now, this is a mandevilla and one of the instructions was it likes water and being in a subtropical climate, we don't actually get a massive amount of, of rain here. So I was constantly watering it, but what's happened is with the, the natural rain that's fallen and we've had so much, it has now climbed up the frame that we built for it and gone up and over the top, which is the whole idea. So this is obviously a white one and I planted a red one at the same time and oh my gosh, the color on this is spectacular. Just look at these flowers here. Superb. That one too, it hasn't grown as fast as the white one, but the white one did go in a bit earlier. Up and over and we'll soon cover this walkway. And the last one to go in was this one down here. This has only been in a few short months, obviously pink. So the idea, of course, up and over the frame and across the wire at the top. How fabulous is that? So mandevillas absolutely love a lot of water. That's something I've realized. So other plants, our natives absolutely adore it. We have another climber through here. And what really enjoys the rain here are the native grasses. So here, this is just a native grass, grows to about a meter and a half by about a metre and a half wide, just fills the spot, has tiny little cream flowers. As you can see, the flower spikes are here. So they'll come out with these lovely cream and white flowers. The birds love them. Oh, here we go. Here's a better example of one just around the corner. You can see the tiny flowers here. Just loving all the rain that we've had. The natives have grown even while I've been away. And bromeliads, of course, they always need to have water in their funnel. So make sure there's always water deep down in here. So since I've been away, an amazing change in my garden, but it always a change for the better. Loving my garden at this time of year and really loving the rain that we've had. And I've just got to say, I have not watered this garden for 12 months, just about unheard of. However, that's the plus side, I suppose, to having too much rain, you don't have to water. That's my dog, Joey, he's deaf. He's an Australian red cattle dog. He's beautiful, isn't he? He's only seven months old and quite a joy to have around. So in my garden, wandering around, temperatures are getting hot, 35 expected today. And that's why the air conditioning is on inside. So no matter where you are in this world, Enjoy your garden. You know what? It's the cheapest form of therapy once you have a garden. Well, that's what I say anyway. And I'll see you soon on my gardening channel from beautiful Queensland in Australia.